one mystical night, Santa Mario set off in his sleigh to find glitches for the kitties. Merry Glitchmas! Okay, first up, we've got the Minus World glitch. Break those two blocks, then have one foot on the pipe, one foot off. An easy way to do this, according to a guy in the comments of a YouTube video. Then crouch jump up like that. Then go down this first pipe and you'll go to world minus one. It plays exactly like world 7-3. Except when you get to the end and you go through the final pipe that usually takes you to the flag, what happens is the level restarts. The next place that Santa Mario decides to go is Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Go to a castle level and get to Bowser. Wait till the time is almost down to a zero, then hit the axe when it is at zero. If you do this correctly, then after Toad says this, the timer will begin counting down from 999, because there's nothing to count down from, you know, at zero. But if you do this at a flag, then no points will be awarded. So yeah, he's gotta... He's gotta... Sit here for a minute. And now, Santa Mario travels over to Super Mario 64. Santa Mario thought to himself, What the hey, I guess we've always got time for BLJ. Santa Mario decided that next, he would go to the place where Yoshi's hatch from eggs, aka Super Mario World. Alright, so what we're doing in Super Mario World is the orb glitch. Let me slow that down for you. So, spin jump off of Yoshi as Fire Mario, and eat the Rex as Yoshi at the same time, then collect the coin before it goes into Yoshi's mouth. You can, what you can do is you can place this item that goes up into your item box, and use it to complete any level you want. Very quickly. Like, very. But this can also not work. Let me slow that down. So yeah, I take damage from the charge and chuck that Yoshi actually eats and then the game crashes. One sec, I'm gonna explain the orb glitch real fast. So what I did was I spin jumped off Yoshi as Fire Mario and then one of my fireballs hit the Rex. And then once that happened, I had to move over because Yoshi was going to be eating the coin instead of the actual Rex and collect the coin as Mario before it ended up in Yoshi's mouth. Yoshi would continue his eating animation and actually end up eating nothing. And since the game doesn't know what to do when nothing is in Yoshi's mouth, it loads something different into his mouth, the nearest object or something. So what it ended up loading into Yoshi's mouth was the clap and chuck that resides by the goal but since charge and chucks are never actually meant to be eaten the game doesn't know what to do and decides that it's just gonna shove the orb up into my power-up box for some weird reason and by the orb i mean that little green thing with the question mark on it because it decides that the clap and chuck is going to be turned into a power-up for some reason and the power-up or item, I should say, that it decides to turn it into is the orb. And the Rex is the purple dinosaur, and when I said coin, I meant the coin from the Rex. Anyway, back to Glitchmas. Santa Mario thought to himself, oh, fine, I guess I better visit Super Mario Sunshine. Over here by the fruit stands, run into that corner diagonally, and you will clip through to the bottom, but you better keep jumping because it's a blue screen of death, and if you don't, you'll die. Santa Mario thought that he'd better visit Super Mario Galaxy. Over in Loopy Swoop Galaxy, if you go over to the big penguin and homing ground pound him, and then, you know, do that, well, if you have enough speed, you might not need to spin. But then you can long jump over to the Manta Ray section, you know, the entire rest of the level, without the Manta Ray. And you can swim around the entire course, and the water is just a little bit janky. Merry December 1st!